Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Welcome everybody. A inbox review of something a little bit different. Now this is the T15 Amata. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't know too much about this. I just saw the box and the box sold me on it. And what little I do know, I will share with you. And I've been on YouTube and there isn't a great deal about this particular kit and the actual vehicle itself. Uh, I know this is a fighting vehicle for the future. Roughly it is based on the T14 chassis. Uh, being reconfigured, the engine's been put in the front, uh, so this can actually carry eight troops and the crew. And everything else after that is sort of rather sketchy. It's telling you, well, the videos that I've actually watched about it, it's telling you that it's got a, a remote controlled turret, it's got a 30 centimeter uh, auto cannon. It also carries four anti-tank uh, missiles, which can be interchanged for various jobs. It's also got this active protective uh, system on it that will actually detect incoming uh, APGs and things like that, which then it will dispense a countermeasure and destroy it before it hits. And like I say, it's very, very, there's very, very sketchy. They, these are in the, in use with Russia at the moment. They've got, I think it's about 30 of them, 30 or 40 of them. So that's about as much as I know. So that's the uh, limited knowledge of this particular vehicle. Uh, let's get on, have a look inside and see what we actually get. Now, I was a little bit disappointed because uh, this is my first Panda kit. I've never built a Panda uh, kit at all. But I'll run through it as we norm as everybody else does and we normally do. Right, it's the T15. Uh, the kit number is PH35017. It's in 135th scale and it's manufactured by Panda. Uh, not too much on the outside of the box. There's just a few CAD drawings there of different color, of uh, different, well, the color, and that's Russian green. Uh, a bit of safety information, and that's about it. There's, there's, there isn't a lot on the box. I love the box art, really nice. I do like that. And that's really what sold me on buying this kit. Now, I don't know if this, this is Panda's normal way of packaging things, but this is it was released in 2016, so it's not an old kit. And when I actually got it, I was uh, I opened it up, and it looked like you know they've got some sandwich bags out of the uh, out of the pack up to actually put the sprues in. Uh, the actual sprues themselves have been trying to eat them eat themselves out of the packaging I don't know if there's any sort of damage done but we will find that out as we go oh, we're wrecking the place now right we'll run through it uh, there is start off with we have uh, track, track links lots of damn things there's one two three four five six seven eight sprues of track links and we're going to detail a bit later uh, so we've got eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve thirteen fourteen parts and this is what I mean look uh, I've got track links well the wheel sections in it looks like someone's sandwich bag. Uh, I don't know if this is Panda's normal way of packing or this has been kicking around in the warehouse and this is what they send out these days. But I'm not 
really impressed with the packaging. Right, we get down to nitty gritty. We get a nice color printout of the colors, only one color, dark Russian green, and a nice uh, CAD drawing of the actual T15, very nice. A nice booklet, which we'll get into in a few minutes, very nice. We also have some decals, decals, transfers, or stickers, whichever you would like to call them, is fine by me. We have a piece of uh, copper wire for a tow cable, and we have a small fret of uh, PE. And right at the bottom, we have a pack of clear parts. Now, that is it. So what I should do in my normal way, we'll drop the camera down, and we'll take a look at the uh, instructions, and then we'll have a look at the parts. Kicking off with workshop manual. Uh, just the normal gump on the front, telling you not to stick it to yourself, eat it, and the other rubbish. Uh, onto the first page, we've got a sprue map. Move that across so it's in shot. Sprue map, and we go straight in as normal with the wheel assembly and lower hull. I ain't gonna linger too long. Uh, the only thing I can say is it's nicely set out, nice and clear, which I do like. We've got two pages, probably three pages, just on wheel assembly and track assembly as well, uh, which is uh, showing you actually how to put the tracks together. Not looking forward to these tracks. There's going to be a lot of cuts and a lot of cleanup, but we'll get into that when we have a look at the tracks themselves. Uh, moving on, upper hull, and it's just generally fitting all the bits and pieces, hatches, aerials, uh, vision ports and we've still got more on the upper hull. I like to see that they're sort of uh, split it all up and just giving you small amounts to do on each section which is great because there is, by the look of it there is a lot of little bits to go on the upper hull. Uh, finally we, we get into putting the lower and upper hull together, side skirts it has got a bit of a funny sort of nose on it, this uh, vehicle has. Uh, probably because the engine's at the front. And we've got the assembly for that, and the tow rope as well. And 15 and 16, we're coming just to put in the small, well, the nose cone on, shall I say. And then the assembly of the turret. Like I say, nice and clear, which I do like to see. Uh, the rocket pods to go on the side, the, the actual turret, the gun, uh, and all the different optics and that uh, being fitted on the actual turret. Nice and clear, nice and straightforward. And onto the final page, 20 steps altogether. The 20th step is fitting the turret to the actual hull. Nice and easy, nice and straightforward. I do like that. Now we've got that little bit out of the way, let's go and have a look at the parts. Okay, we start with uh, sprue D. Now, this contains mainly all the parts for the upper hull. And we'll just go through them because I don't really know what we're looking at. But the one thing I have noticed is I've actually got a bit of a broken part there. The, the little basket has been broken. So I shall have to glue that before I take it off the sprue. Uh, all the parts look okay, uh, nice and crisp, clear, clean, uh, I can't see any flash, there's a few mould lines here and there but hey ho, this is what you get, but as you can see, all the parts, nice and clean. Uh, and that's about all I can really sort of say about this sprue. I'll just finish running through so you can actually see. Yeah, I've got a little bit of flash, but that's mainly on the gates coming in. Yeah, that's okay. There is a few uh, flow marks, but then they are dead smooth. Uh, it's just where the plastic flows through the mould. 
what we could do with the injection speed turned up a bit there we go that's the first sprue that's sprue D and we'll move on now okay this is sprue E and this contains most of the turret all nice and clean nice and sharp as you can see all the detailing uh, no flash as I can see of so right to the end of that uh, rocket pods like I say all nice and clean I haven't come across any flash and everything looks pretty crisp so that is sprue what did I say E Move on to okay this is sprue B no it's not it's sprue C and this was a bit of a strange one because what they'd done uh, when it came out the mold they just folded it over so I actually had to cut these two apart so this is oh no it is supposed to be two sprues one is C and the other is B so we'll look at C first and this is mainly the side skirts to the vehicle all nice and clean there's no flash there they've got plenty of these uh, flow marks though on all their parts uh, like I say this could probably do with the in speeding their injection speed up a, a tiny bit and that would probably cure that but hey ho but all the parts nice and clean all the detailing looks nice quite happy with that so that's sprue C and this is sprue B and it's just a uh, it is exactly the same as the other one isn't it well yes yeah it is but we'll run through it size the side skirt again uh, I don't know quite where that bit goes but it all looks nice and clean there's no flash even the grills look nice quite happy with that the parts do look good about the fit I don't know right on to the next okay, one okay this is sprue F just a small sprue uh, it's them funny bits that stick out the front of the vehicle uh, a few hatches and uh, bits and pieces all look nice and clean no problems there and on to the next one okay this is sprue A there's two of these sprues and these sprues mainly contain the road wheels and suspension uh, bits and pieces like that all look nice and clean the actual wheels are all done in one piece which is nice so you've only got one well two cleanup points there and that's good as well that the actual uh, sprue gates actually come into the end of the sprocket because normally they come into the middle of it and you spend for ages trying to clean the damn things up uh, so that's all good it all looks nice and clean nice and sharp quite happy with that all the smaller parts there's no flash all nice and clean uh, very happy and like I say there's two of them so on to okay. I had to lift the camera up slightly for this because this is the upper hull and it is extremely big it is a big vehicle nicely detailed as you can see uh, not a lot more I can actually say about that uh, you can see it's all nicely detailed and it will probably look even better once we get all them little parts on inside nothing too special to look at there's no interior with this so uh, nothing really in there to worry about so that is the upper hull and we move on to the lower hull and you can just see in there 2016 so the lower hull there's not a lot more you can say about it I don't know about the fit and how it's going to go together until we actually get there but nicely detailed what detailing there is there all nice and crisp so that is the upper and lower hull now on to the next okay I brought you down nice and low so you can actually see this is the tracks there sprues T now there's eight of these all together 
and I have just done a rough calculation because there's 120 cuts per sprue and that's going to give you well over what nine six nine hundred and sixty cuts just to get these parts off this these tracks are going to be a really a labor of love now the tracks they come in four parts we actually have the track link itself then we have two rubber pads and a guide horn to go on each one now they all are nice and clean there's no injector mark pins there's nothing i can really moan about they do supply a small jig as well so you can assemble them uh, the nice thing as well that there's only two sprue gates on each part of the actual track link which is going to be nice and easy to clean up because it's on a flat surface just there so that is one good thing but there's going to be a lot of work in assembling these which I'm not looking forward to uh, there is a little bit of flash here and there but nothing really mega I have been through all of them and it is just a little bit of flash here and there and literally it does pull off with your fingernail so that is the tracks uh, they all they are all nice and clean uh, there's no injector mark pins and that's about as much as I can say and it's something I'm not looking forward to doing so we move on now right, to the we next are now coming to the final bits and pieces there's not much in this kit now uh, we're looking at the clear parts there's not a lot to be said about clear parts they are clear uh, vision ports periscopes all them bits and pieces uh, they are a bit of a, a, a pain in the neck when you have to mask them all up and peer ball about but you need them to make the job complete so that's the clear parts and we're going to move on now to the photo edge uh, sorry about the glare there now the photo edge uh, a very small well not a huge great big sheet but it's quite thick and also it is covered with a protective film both sides which is brilliant uh, because this does make it a lot easier to cut the parts out and not have them bend and ping all over the place so that is very very good that's what I do like uh, not too many bits on there some grills and some boxes by the look of it uh, not too much stress there on the PE uh, moving on we have the decals decals transfers or stickers now I've never done any panda I've never done a panda kit so I haven't done any pandas uh, decals uh, very basic just a star with some stripes on and these just go on either side and that is it uh, we will get to find out what they're like because this kit will be built very very soon as I'm finishing off the Terminator uh, and then I'll be starting this one very soon in the actual hangout uh, copper wire uh, reasonably soft reasonably flexible uh, I'm all the jury's always out with me on uh, the cables because I do like to twist my own cables uh, for my kits and I've never really got on with anything they supply because it never sort of molds up or shapes up to how I want it to look so I might even have a bash and use this one and see what it turns out like because it feels reasonable so that is it that is everything now in this kit i'll put them back so the camera doesn't go quite mad and that is it all the parts we've been all through the parts and this kit will be built in i will be starting it in roughly about a week and a half to two weeks time uh, and i'll start building this uh, in the hangout i'm going to try and do a bit of a build log on it so you can see what's going on and all i can say now is thank you very much for joining me and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.